Hey guys, how's it going? It's Arjun here, bringing you something a little bit different today, and that is me doodling a thumbnail. And I know you guys have probably seen videos like this before pop up in a lot of different places, and you know, I just want to share that I'm a talented artist, an artiste if you will, and I want, I want you guys to recognize all the hard work that I put into copy-pasting Photoshop text effects and layer styles. Lots of different kinds of text using a TF2 font, and then finding some TF2 clip art on the internet. You know, it's very hard work. It's very diligent work. So I just want you all to appreciate me a little bit more. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. Thank you. Nope. <laughs> all right. So I don't really do this stuff, and I know you guys have probably seen me doodle a couple of terrible thumbnails a while ago. Like the heavy VIP one is probably the most prevalent one. That I did a Squirtle one that I never actually made a video of. That I'll probably put up here if I can find it. But aside from that, you know, don't really do this. I'm not a very good artist. I took like one art class in high school, and that was about it. So I just, last night, at like 1 a.m., I was really bored. I've been playing Smite all day because I really wanted to get Ymir to Legendary rank. And <laughs> I was like, hey, fuck it, let's doodle a thumbnail because I did not feel like playing Smite after playing for like six straight hours. So I did. And here's the speed drying of that. It's for a video that's coming up that hopefully should be pretty fun. And yeah, I'm just going to take this as an opportunity to talk to you guys about some stuff that I feel like talking about because I have to talk about it because I'm a YouTube person. That means I have to talk about stuff. That's not really important nor does it pertain to you, but I just I have to feel important about myself because I'm very self-conscious. I use YouTube as a way to deflect my own insecurities onto you guys. So yeah, thanks for being good projections! So first of all, I want to talk about why I've been making as many TF2 videos because of a couple reasons. First and foremost, I need to practice. Guys, I haven't played TF2 since, like, early August, in a even kind of a competitive sense. Like, in early August, I was doing MGE stuff. Since then, it, I'm just so stale. And TF2 is like riding a bike and that you never forget, but you do always remember the stuff that is really not helpful, like how to use a kickstand and what kind of frills go really well on the handlebars. And what it felt like that one time I fell over by my friend's house because I was really bored, and I scraped my knee and this old lady tried to help me and I screamed at her when I was like eight and I had anger issues. Yeah, that was a fun time. So yeah, every time I try to log in now, unless I'm playing some stupid bumper car shit, it's like, oh, this guy with 15 million usuals and a ton of parts on a strange weapon decided to rub himself off on you, and I just, I don't know, I'm really bad at it right now, so I'm practicing up. I am playing a decent amount, but I'm just, I gotta practice, guys. Because I don't want to show you guys, this is the weird thing, because I don't want to show you guys me playing terribly. That's different from not showing you guys me losing. Which is a weird distinction. But for example, you know that Smite video I made, the topless backflip, what's it, a little while ago? That game we lost, but it was a pretty good game, and I did pretty well as Neath. Like, I, I had pretty good KDR, I think it was like 6 and 2 if I remember, I don't know. Go look it up, you commentators. But yeah, so I could show you guys a game like that when I want to introduce you to something, or show you how I played the game. And that's decent as compared to a video of me trying to run around as a scooty booty in Team Defense Force 2. And getting freaking destroyed by many sentries everywhere. Well, I'm like, oh, guys, I gotta get 15 kills with the Mad Milk. Uh, it's a challenge. Uh. Aside from that, I just haven't been playing TF2 as much as I used to. Because like, over the summer, I played. Not the summer, like the summer before the summer, like two years ago. I played like nothing but TF2 all summer, and I I got pretty good at it for a while. But then this summer, I got so into Smite. I got so into Smite. I have so many hours on Smite, and it's a weird thing. It kind of brings me back to. What I, I hope to accomplish as a YouTube star. <laughs> it's all like 20 of you who actually watch these things. These things I want to do, I want to make you guys laugh when I can, obviously. That's why I make high quality content constantly. Like that brilliant Halloween video that, it, you know, my magnum opus personally. I think Roger Ebert called it my sis and Kane. And he's not even alive. The other thing, I want to help you guys find games to play that are really fun, or find ways to play games that are really fun. So I should either be having fun or helping someone else have fun. That's the goal with this. And the reason I've been trying to push Smite so hard, and why this is a Smite video thumbnail that hopefully you guys will see in a couple days uploaded here, is because that game is really fun. But the first time I tried it, I fucking hated it. Uh, my friend who's in the next video could probably attest to that. God, I just I tried it like a year ago and it was miserable and I hated everything. I got my ass kicked and Hebo was a cheap son of a bitch. And my friends played it super competitively, so I was teamed up with them. And because I was teamed up with them, matchmaking pairs was against people who knew what they were doing. And I was just a noob little idiot who didn't even know what items to buy. 
So it was it was crazy and miserable and I hated it and I didn't play for like a year after that. And then I'm trying to think, I think last spring I tried a little bit more with him. I was like, yeah, this is actually okay. You know, once you get knowing what you're doing, I played a lot as Apollo, you know, learned my stuff. And then this summer I got so into that fucking game, guys. I have a couple, I guarantee I have a couple of hundred hours logged. I'll see if I can find it. I don't know if I can, but I'll try to find how many hours I've logged. Yeah, this summer was insane. It was all spite all the time. And then my computer broke on my birthday, so that was a fun time. And then I didn't get to play for two months. And I, that's when I made those shitty Hearthstone videos. And then I got my computer back, uh, like, probably maybe a month ago. I'm not sure. So I got my computer back around a month ago, and I've been playing so much Smite. Because I love that game right now. And I know I'm going to burn out on it. I'm kind of burning out on it right now. Because yesterday, I really want to get Ymir to legendary rank. So I played him for like five hours straight. Which is not something you should do if you want to be a physically fit individual. So moral of the story, I want to inspire you guys to go out and try some games, and maybe if you're like me and you try Smite and you don't like it that much at first because it was hard and confusing, just give it a little time, because once you get to that creamy center of the Tootsie Pop roll, you'll be wondering why there's even a shitty sucker outside and why you didn't just buy a Tootsie Pop. That was a mixed analogy, because it's so much fun when you get into it, and you can like work with friends and you see all the goofy stuff that goes on, and you get the skill shots. And stuff from other MOBAs too, because I've tried League of Legends, I've tried it multiple times, I just don't get into it. I get why people like it, I just can't get into it. And then I tried Dota. That game is the slowest piece of fucking shit I've ever played. I'm never trying that game again. I'm gonna go burn a couple of posters or something. That game is horrible. Don't play that. God, no. I hate Dota so much. I'm sorry. Again, if you like it, eh, whatever. It's your call, but I just hate it. It feels like a slower version of RuneScape. It's competitive multiplayer. Mm. So I'm just going to round this video off, I've been rambling enough, uh, by sharing a couple other games i played recently that you guys might like. So hopefully I can get you guys to try it out. Uh, first of all, SteamWorld Dig. SteamWorld Dig, I'll put the logo up there somewhere for you. That was my favorite game of 2013, hands down. I got it on 3DS, there's a Steam version, and it's really cheap right now. I think it's like 3 bucks, I want to say. Maybe 2 dollars I don't know, that, steals, that deal's still going on. My dog's barking in the background, so that's nice. It's one of those games that's really short, but really sweet, and has this awesome sense of progression. And at the end, it gives you medals, and you get, like, a silver medal on your time. Like, oh, I could probably do this fast, and go through, and you get all gold. It's it's really fun. I love it. It's awesome. So, Steam World Lake. Go play it. Other than that, like I said, try out Smite. Um, there's this game, I don't know if you guys have tried it. It's called Team Fortress 2. It's a team-based first-person shooter, in which each team consists of nine classes. And I'm trying to think what else to talk about. Uh, Overwatch trailer. I'm not sure if you guys seen that. And it looks kind of generic. I don't know if you'll like it. But again, it's a trailer. I don't judge anything by trailers. They're fucking... I really like watching movie reviews on YouTube. People are... And then some of these people are like, Oh, here's the new Avengers trailer review. We're reviewing a trailer. Because we fucking hate ourselves. Looks kind of interesting. I'll definitely play if it's free. If it's not, then I don't know. But yeah. I'm just looking forward to the six mini centuries. Hey, Indian dude, dude. The Indian dude, dude, dude. The Indian dude, dude, dude. The did you redo Indian dude with the uh, giant magical orbs? That looks really interesting. I want to see how that plays out. And yeah, that's gonna do it for me. So thanks for watching my ramble. This video for the thumbnail should be up in a couple days. And remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff. If you liked and subscribe, thanks. Goodbye.